Okay, starting at midnight tonight and running until the 1st of January, there will be a highly visible statewide policing operation. That operation will be focusing on the five behaviours that we know contribute the most to road fatalities and serious injury crashes. Those behaviours will be drink and drug driving, speeding, seat belts, distraction and dangerous road users. Unfortunately and staggeringly, over the last five years during that same period, 26 people have perished on South Australian's roads and 1,186 people have uh, been involved in serious injury crashes. As a result of those analysis over the last five years, 73% of those road deaths have occurred in the country and 55% of those serious injury collisions have occurred in rural areas. So SAPOL is asking people to enjoy the Christmas break but to exercise a, a degree of responsibility and caution when you're on the roads. Drive safely. Whatever your capacity is in terms of using our road network, whether you're a driver, or a passenger, a rider or a pedestrian, exercise due care, exercise due diligence and make good decisions so everybody can come home safe, safely to their loved, loved ones. The last thing that you want is one of my colleagues knocking on your door at this time of the year and giving you some terrible news that will impact you, your family and communities for life. Superintendent, I think it's probably safe to say in the last couple of months, the last few weeks even, that it feels at least as though serious crashes are you know, happening more and more often. What is it about this time of year that makes our roads more dangerous? I think it's the volume of people on our roads and a lot of people do leave the metropolitan area and they go to rural roads and uh, certainly as I said we'll be looking at those roads, we'll be deploying 24-7 where we know there are areas of high crash possibilities and offending. Where are some of those hot spots? <clears throat> a lot of our arterial highways um, but also we'll be focusing on the metropolitan area because there are hot spots within the metropolitan area as well. And when you're looking at the metro area are you looking at maybe people coming back from their Christmas parties and they probably should have caught a taxi? Most definitely and uh, I would say to people by all means celebrate the festive se season, have a great Christmas but be responsible. If you've been drinking don't drive, catch a taxi, get alternate transport. Not drinking at all better than driving even just with two standard drinks? It, I mean, that's an individual decision. I, I personally think it's a wise decision if you're going to drive uh, not to drink, but that's a personal decision. Do you think there's some complacency in the road toll being almost 20 fewer than this time last year that people might think, you know, it's OK, it won't happen to me, that sort of thing? I think there's always that possibility that people really believe that this sort of thing won't happen to them. Unfortunately, there's 73 people that will give you a different story this year. Will the police be offering any leniency to drivers breaking the rules this Christmas? Not with the Fatal Five. This is an enforcement operation. As I said, we know that this contributes to serious injuries and fatalities on our roads. Our aim is to have a zero road toll and uh, we will be targeting and enforcing those offences. Is there anything at all different about this cam campaign this year or are you confident that this is the, always the best way to go? No, we're confident that... Um, this campaign will be successful. As I said, there'll be 24 seven deployment and the vehicles and deployments have been mapped using our intelligence holding. So we'll have the vehicles where we believe we need them to have the most impact on making sure that everybody gets home safely. Are drivers more distracted at this time of year? I mean, I don't uh, know that as a fact, but it's highly possible because obviously there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of excited children in cars. Uh, there's a lot of uh, social media devices, etc. So it's highly possible that that is the case. Can you talk to us about the postcards that you, you've got? What are you going to do with those? Yeah, there's a series of postcards that will be distributed to drivers during the summer period and those pictures uh, on the postcards have been taken by serving police officers and show the diversity of our state and each postcard will have one of the Fatal Five uh, messages on there. So we're hoping that people appreciate the, the beautiful South Australia that it is but they also uh, reflect on being safe on our roads. Briefly about um, you know how people can get a little bit more distracted at this time of the year. Can people also get a little bit more angry at this time of the year when they're on the roads or in the car parks, perhaps? Most definitely, people become impatient. Um, we know that there's a higher volume of traffic both on our roads and in car parks, quite rightly, and some people unfortunately do become impatient. And my message to those people is that you just need to take a deep breath, calm down, and just make sure that you're responsible because being impatient is going to lead to bad outcomes for everybody. And um, if there are you know, incidents of road rage, um, obviously you're telling them to calm down, but if someone is experiencing you know, maybe someone coming at them, you tell people not to react as well? Yeah, don't react. Um, take the details that you can take and uh, contact police. What would you say to drivers who think that they might be able to avoid drug and alcohol offences? 
I'd say that uh, if you think you can avoid drug and alcohol testing, then you're being very, very foolish. Uh, we have a significantly high uh, drug test rate, positive rate, and uh, we certainly are very proactive in our positive alcohol tests. So um, if you think you can do that, my suggestion to you is don't do that. Be responsible, use alternate means of transport. There'll be a high level of police officers right across the state during this operation. And can you reiterate for us uh, what's at stake this, is this time of year, what people doing the wrong thing? As I said, this will be an enforcement campaign. The fi five offences that I've referred to carry heavy penalties and uh, there won't be any leniency. If you're committing one of those five offences, you need to understand that the action taken against you is likely to be enforcement. Whole state.